What is going on, sports fans? Welcome to another run here on American Truck Simulator. Long overdue, I know, but it is what it is. So today I am rolling out with double 48 footers here. So not something I see in my area. There's only certain states, and I haven't looked this up, so my apologies for not doing my homework. But I believe there's only certain states that allow trailer setups like this. Um, I don't think Indiana does, although they do allow triples, but those are for pup trailers, not the 48s, I believe. And I believe this is something more out west. I could be wrong, so if you guys see these in your area, let me know in the comments. You know, it, hey, we see these all the time. Do you, you know, do you see them in doubles? Do you see them in triples even? Um, you know, every, every state has different rules, so... Keep that in mind as well before you guys comment and, you know, yeah, every state's different. Illinois, no, do not see these. So, but uh, this one comes from Miguel Angel 19 or 988. It's Great Dane, as you can see by the dog sitting on the front of the trailer there. Great Dane, double 48 footers. He's got Swift, Roadway, as you see here, and a couple other companies. They also have single versions as well. So, if you see an example here, Roadway like this, you might be able to select the double trailer instead of the single. This tips in at 110,000 pounds, taking flour to Oakland shippers. Now, I took this route because of the of the way it's going. It's, it's a short one, but it's probably going to take a little while because, yeah, that could be interesting. We'll, have to, we'll, we'll see how this goes. But, uh, yeah, because I've never pulled trailers like this. I haven't pulled anything this long before, so could be interesting the paint it comes from kev customs don't remember the name of it offhand let me take a look here real quick see we got tab out his purple and gray skin not bad i like it Nice and simple, and that's what I like. I like simple paint skins. I like clean paint skins. And so this is one of two that he has available, uh, both on ATSmods.lt. So head over there, check it out. Link for this one will be in the description, as well as for the trailer as well. And, of course, this is the Viper 2 389 that I'm rolling. And it's set up as a 379 today. I'm rolling with a Cat 550 underneath the hood. And I got the 379 dash in there. Uh, did a little change with the headlights, but other than that, it's pretty much stock and standard. So, you know, minor customizations here and there with the lights and so on. So, yeah. Let's see if I can get this pig out of here. As you can see, I really had to work to get this thing backed into it. So, uh, trying to come in at the side wasn't working. So, okay, let's try to get as forward as I can. And finally, I just rammed it underneath there, found it, boom, hooked up. So... We'll see how this goes. I can tell you right now, I don't think I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I am not getting out of here with this combination. Nope, there's that. So, yeah. All right, video over. No, I'm going to end up getting myself out of here one way or another, but uh, make sure you guys look and see where you're getting out because a setup like this is not going to work. So we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All I did was just reposition myself inside here. So, yeah, like I said, be mindful of where you're picking up your trailers, also where you're picking off. There was a run to Truckee I was going to take with these, and then I realized, wait a minute, the Walmart and Truckee, what's that going to be? It's going to be like this. That ain't going to happen. So, Because I 
don't think there is a way to lock these trailers. There's uh, no nothing in the description to say, you know, you can make this one big trailer or cut down on the pivot points, you know, things like that. So, in the real world, there isn't a, a way to do that, to my knowledge, anyway. So far, so good. It does actually feel like I've got some weight here. Once they get in the gear. Alright, so. Lots of doubles have coming out. As I mentioned, as I predicted bef when this first happened, you know, watch for a flood of doubles, and yeah, wow, uh, I believe I've seen photos of the Trayscape's bullet trailers, uh, those are set up for doubles, um, the first ones I saw on mod sites were the Australian version of doubles, um, I've seen mods for container doubles and triples, and it, it you know, some of this stuff is just like, that's just, you know, overkill. That, that's just too much. You know, triples. Triple 48s. Once again, let me know in the comments, do you guys see that in your state? I don't think I've ever seen that, period. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen triple 48s. Now, a friend of mine out west... Adam, he's pulled double 48, so I should make that comment right now that uh, I believe New York allows it. Uh, he was out on the East Coast, so they allow it that way. In New York or New Jersey, somewhere in that area, they allow double 48s. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what goes into the whole rules of the road planning. You know, how do they determine? 48 footers are okay or not. I'm a little surprised here in Illinois. It's not. Uh, you know, many of the highways are pretty much wide open and clear. I mean, we don't have any, you know, like mountain passes and things like that to deal with. Um, 55, 57, 80, 88. You know, they're all pretty much country driving. And then you got the main, the other ones that go from east to west, the so 70, 72, 74. You know, it's just pretty much country driving and that's you know so I'm a little surprised uh, that Illinois doesn't allow uh, at le you know maybe 48 footer doubles uh, you know things like that but it also maybe it's road conditions as well you know what is the road built for what is it conditioned for things like that not all roads are the same so roadbed really makes a big uh, impact on you know what can be hauled and and what can go across it if the road is rated for it if, it, if it's built for it um 
but I'm not an engineer. That's just me kind of speculating. So, I'll tell you what, these things do pull pretty good. You just gotta take a wider, wider corner. Get up, where we go. Come on. Come on, cat. Not sure if we're going to see these in traffic. I would think we're not. So what else has been going on, boys and girls? Holy crap, we've had some storms in my area here. In fact, and I haven't... I haven't made the video public, but I recorded video on the way home the other day. And I sent, I sent the link to the YouTube video that I posted to Tom Skilling. Tom Skilling is a really good meteorologist. He's on WGN and uh, you know a lot of people here you know look at him as the top meteorologist because the guy really knows his, knows his shit and finally he got back to me because I said is this a dust devil or a tornado and it looked like a, duff, a dust devil you know just a bunch of dirt and dust getting kicked up by winds and just turns into what looks like a tornado and I sent it into him because there was really no connection from the ground to the clouds and there really wasn't a whole lot of rotation in the clouds so that's why I figured it was a dust devil so he wrote me back and he says what you got there looks like a tornado uh, he says you know there is a column coming down and there is some rotation um, but he, he says it does look like it's a it is a a very weak small scale tornado so i'm gonna try to remember to make that public for you guys to take a look at and that is actually the first time i've ever seen a tornado so being on the tip of the tornado alley as they call it here in the midwest illinois being the eastern edge of it uh you know, I'm a little surprised that it's the first time I've ever seen that. I might have seen funnel clouds in the past, but uh, you know, never a tornado. So that was quite interesting. Even on the corners, you got to go a little wide. Good, they caught the red light. This will give me the option, the ability to stall out. Second gear. This is the way 
it's gonna be, huh? There we go, third gear. Definitely interesting. So yeah, there's that. Uh, we've had a lot of rain too. But yeah, some pretty good storms and I mean hell, just Saturday night to Sunday morning. I'm recording this Sunday morning. Hopefully you guys will see it this afternoon or Monday. Uh, some major freaking storms came through. My dog was just losing his freaking mind. He kept me up most of the night. It's terrified. I mean, it was just like the lightning and the thunder stayed right on top of the house. The storms came rolling through, but, you know, the action just boom, 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 right on top of the house or within the general area all night long. It was just kind of nuts. But that's why I love summer, spring and summer, bring those song, bring those strong storms on. But it was it was kind of a good thing too because the storm didn't have the torrential downpour rains like the storms the other week had for us. So you know that's not good for crops that's not good for grass and you know the the quick heavy hard rains because that stuff runs off it disappears you know it, it, it was I supposed to get off there yes I was son of a damn it uh, you know it, so the, the grass in the ground really isn't able to soak it up so you need the the medium to light kind of rain and that's what we got last night so that was that was a good thing. The grass was starting to turn a little brown here, so. Could be interesting. Don't you stop, you freaking fool! Don't you, oh, you dummy! Don't you go. Oh, that was ever so close. I was waiting for the, 
the cash register to go off saying collision. You know, another thing I'll get into here, since I've got a couple minutes to kill, in the local paper, the Joliet Herald, they posted something on Facebook saying that state police are kind of reiterating the fact that people need to stay out of the left-hand lane. They're called campers. They get out in the left lane, they just stay there. And they have their own reasons. They're just oblivious that they're in the left lane. They think they own the road. They think they're going to control traffic. You know, things like that. And road rage incidents because of that have picked up there's been more uh, you know more and more according to state police because people just camp out there and then you know people get all pissed off me included and you know i guess there's been some altercations there's been a couple of accidents you know there's been a couple different things that have happened because people were just camping out in the left lane because they felt like you know they had to, it's my right well, no, it's not. <laughs> In many, many states. Get going. Many states have passed laws restricting the use of the left lane. The left lane, by rules of the road, is for passing. It's a passing lane. But people don't care about that. And so, you know, that, that kind of sparked a little conversation on the comments for this article. And right away, Oh, it's the trucks. The trucks won't move over. I had to. I started laughing. I knew, even before looking at the comments, there are going to be people bitching about the trucks, the semis. Now, granted, you know, the south suburbs are turning into a major intermodal hub. There are a lot of container trucks coming in and out nowadays, cross docks, things like that. Amazon setting up their third warehouse. I don't know if it's an Amazon warehouse or what, but there is a warehouse going in in the far south cornland of Chicago here where, uh-oh, I don't know if I want to go that way. Yep, yeah, I'm not. Um, and this, this is not an official measurement, but the damn thing is a half mile. You go... Oh. You're turning. Go. Oh, wow. That's the horn. I'm going to have to plow him. I'm going to have to plow into him. Just go. Go. See, we're going to have road rage here. We're going to have a case of road rage. All right, warned you. <laughs> All right, he's backing up. Good. Now you're backing up. Good. Well, he did a bad job backing up. Wow, what the? What the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The hell was that? The hell? The trailer got road rage on me. Well, um, I think that's gonna be it here, boys and girls. That, um, I should have been pulling swift trailers. <laughs> See there, I said I had a cat motor. There it is. Let's get a aerial view because he backed off into the rail there. That's nuts.
So what the hell is going on over here? Why is this guy... Oh, because that truck is all jacked up. So we're not going anywhere. Doesn't matter. Alright. Well. Actually, there's a truck shop right back up the road. <laughs> yes, I agree. Whoa, wow, 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 whoa. Whoa! Alright. Yep, that is going to be it here. I'm in low, as you see. Engine malfunction. <laughs> I love that sound. That's awesome. Yep. All right. That is going to be it. Do not reset to a shop if you're hauling these trailers. Because then you're screwed. You're SOL. All Let me cheat. All right, back again. Here we go. Yeah, the customer expects delivery soon. Well, if there weren't idiots around where the customer's at, he would have his delivery. All right, no one coming, no one coming. Which way we're we gonna go here? Left or right? Left or right? Now I'm gonna go left. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I can't go. There are people there, and I can't go. No matter which way I go. I have to wait. Must go quick. Must go quick. Get him to stop. Good. I I don't think it matters which which way I go here. I'm, I'm going to be challenged and screwed. Which honestly is the main reason why I picked this this run.
Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Easy parking. Oh, no. Oh! It's there. Holy crap. Did he? Yeah, he moved the parking spots longer. Nice. Oh, he stretched them out because look at the cones. Look at the way the cones are. So he just basically stretched it. But hey, it works. The trailer is parked. It's damaged. I don't care. We're done, finally. So, when you guys take these things out, make sure you look at where you're picking up and you look at where you're delivering. Walmart's the, the the little stores gonna be a pain in the ass so keep that in mind I imagine getting the rail yard could be a pain in the ass too depending on where you gotta go so, you know like uh, let's see um, 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 Barstow for example you pull straight in you take that right normally you can just get in there and park it maybe you gotta back up a little bit to get the tail end into the, into the marker you're not gonna be able to back this one up here so yeah, one shot and that is it. Have fun backing these things up because you're looking at the pivot point right there at the front on the first trailer, pivot point at the hookup to the second on the dolly, and then the third pivot point, the trailer hooking up to that dolly. So three pivot points to deal with. Pain in the ass. So have fun with that one. Not saying it's impossible, but it's difficult. That is, good. that is it for here, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And, yeah, maybe I'll do another one of these. Or maybe I'll do something else. We'll see what I do later this week. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Take it easy.